So, I have decided to make a video about uh, my first my first time that I tripped on mushrooms, and let's just say I've I've always had fun with mushrooms, and my first time was definitely a little weird. I mean, a lot of people a lot of people say that you know you can have bad trips and you can have good trips, and that is true. I do believe that. But, a lot of people talk down mushrooms when they're first doing them, and I don't get why there's no reason to do that. It's like, it's like, I mean, come on, it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's like yin and yang. It's positive or it's negative. It's like, it's like, for me, when I do it, I, I'm like, well, I know what is reality, and I know what's breaking it. So if I can if I can feel how I'm breaking reality, then I know that I'm in the right mind. You know, I, even if even if it's like a thought of like like n n cutting knives, uh, aliens, Egypt, like fucking weird shit. You know, like I've had I've had some weird things go through my head, and and I've also done I've done LSD, I've done DMT, I've done a lot of different things, and they've all really en enlightened my brain. I mean, like nowadays it's like I I want to get my hands on those things, but at the same time I'm not like hooked to them. You know, I don't want to do them all the time, but I do want to do them, of course, you know, I mean, come on, who doesn't? It's like, it's like smoking weed for the first time. You smoke weed for the first time, and it's like, it's like going into instant, like, happiness. Like, you, you feel incredible, you feel like a new person, you feel like your personality has gone to a new level of thinking. And when it comes to mushrooms, it's like, it's like so, so interesting. It's very, you go from, like... Okay, you know, like see things normally to seeing everything with like a kind of like vivid line over it, almost like an outline like around my face or something like that. Like any type of light that comes into your eyes or any type of things that like do anything at all, it's like you can feel it a lot more. Like you you hear music, and, oh, 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 I just thought of something. When you first do mushrooms, Always start by listening to music. Listen to music first. Because then then you're automatically going to have a positive trip as long as you like the music. And you might even you might even still like it even if you don't like the style of music music. I mean I've I've listened to freaking country on mushrooms and I hate country. I really don't like country. I, I really prefer rap and I prefer metal and I prefer like rock, like all those different things, but but the big part about all of this is that my my first time when I tripped on mushrooms, I I did like an eighth of mushrooms, and that was three point five grams, and um, it wasn't it wasn't like it was like we we borrowed my mom's car. Okay, it was with two other people, and it, so it was me, my friend Eric, and my friend my friend Jake. Well, we went we drove the car to a mountain top, so we were like, okay, we're gonna park in the mountain top and climb up it and have an adventure. You know, it's gonna be wicked fun. So we're like, all right, let's do it. So we we ate the mushrooms, and then we were like, okay, we just didn't eat. I think we we had, like, Italian dressing or something. We just dipped it in, like, I don't know why, but we did. And so we're like, no, 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 and then we drove there real quick. So we drove there, and we got there, and then we went, like, I remember the the big part that I remember was going up the mountain because it was, like, I don't know, it was like entering a new dimension of time and space in the world and like, you know, going through the woods and it was it was fall time, so like the leaf colors were changing too, so all the different colors, every little bit of it was incredible. Um when we ended up getting to this place, um my friend Jake, he he had already done mushrooms before and these mushrooms were pretty good they were like golden caps and i don't know there's there's like uh there's a bunch of different strains of mushrooms like and there's like uh one called penis envy and a couple other ones i don't really know exactly but i'm pretty sure that the ones that we had that day the first ever mushrooms that we did were were penis envy and they were really strong and um uh there was a point in time where like uh, I, I felt like my, my jaw was twitching. I mean, it, it was so weird. Like, I don't think it was scary. It was more, like, just really odd. And I was like, this is weird. Like, I was, like, feeling my chin, and, like, my chin's like, blah, 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 blah. and then, like, all of a sudden, I felt like, I felt like I had to puke. But it was, it wasn't really, like, a sensation, like, down in my stomach. It was more, like, 
in my face. So it was weird, because uh, my nerves didn't feel right. And I was like, hmm. And I remember, like, turning over and, like, spitting, and it felt like I spit, but I felt from my stomach everything pushing right through. Like, all the muscles worked perfectly. And it was weird because I used all my, like, my stomach muscles, and I was like, what the hell? Like, how do I even do that? Like, you know, like, it really puts you in tune with your body and your mind. And, and after that, it was like, it was like all of a sudden... All the all the leaves on the ground, all the roots on the ground, the people I was around, every little bit of it was like like I could feel the kinetic energy and I like like I believe in like wavelengths and Zen and uh different spiritual energies. Like, you know, like people have certain energies, like you can almost feel when someone is attracted to you. I mean to me, I can find out in seconds, but if it's if it's a woman, it's messed up. It's weird. It's something you have to figure out. But if it's a male, I can figure it out. I mean, I'm not gay, but it's something I can figure out. And that's weird to me. I, I don't know why I have that I acquired that ability, but I think it's I think it's just because when I used to do mushrooms, I, I used to feed off the energy in the room. So like I would try and pick apart everyone and take take a little sample of everything almost like uh -huh. it's almost like how LSD basically takes your it basically for me it takes it's like taking a snow globe of all the files in your brain and just like putting it in there and just flipping it over and shaking it up and then having you have to reorganize it so you got all that time that like 10 or 12 hour trip to reorganize all your files and then you and then you have you and then you figure out yourself and with mushrooms, it's just not as scrambled. It's more like slowly pushes you into it, and then it's there. And then if and then it goes in and out. There's like peaks. There, there's like different levels of how heavy it gets. It it might be really, 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 really strong and really like shaky and crazy. And then it'll be like, oh, all right. It'll just kind of flow. And and I use my hand because it's it's that kind of emotion. It's like it's like a it's like a feeling in your entire body. And I think, and so, so this is, all right, so we got into the woods, and we, we went up the mountain, and that was really fun, all of that was wicked fun. Well, um, uh, I found out that, uh, we took the car without asking, and so my mom started getting pissed off, because she had, like, a doctor's appointment at 1.30, and it was, like, 2.30 then, and my friend Eric found out about it, and we were all tripping, and that was his first time tripping, too. And he, he hadn't had any sleep at all. So imagine being really, really sleepy, like staying up all night, like one whole day. Because he used to work third shift. So it would be like third shift and it would be like six in the morning. He would stay up all day. So, well, that was one of the days where he stayed up and he didn't sleep. Well, because he saw the text messages and how, how mad my mom was, he started freaking out. I mean, freaking out. Like... He, he fell on the ground, he was, like, not coherent, didn't say words anymore, he was just, he turned into, like, this weird, crazy, like, the mushrooms really took him complete control, I've never seen this ever again, like, I've, I've never, ever seen the weirdest thing that came out of his mouth, and it was like, oh my god, it twisted my brain around so much, because I, I was hearing things that we used to say when we were kids, I mean, like, when, when I was, like, 10, 12, like, I'm 21 now, and he was saying, like, quotes from, like, a video game, like, weird stuff. And I was like, this is so odd. And, well, Jake ended up, like, taking him up, like, putting him into, like, the soldier soldier hold, you know, like, having his legs, like, around his arm and shit, and, like, having him behind his shoulders. And, um, taking him down the mountain. Well, we're both taking him down the mountain. I'm trying to, like, bring in the positive energy. I'm trying, I'm trying, but it's, I can feel it bouncing off. It's like every single time it's just like, I can just feel it. Like that's how I was at that moment. At that moment, I was instinctually just trying to make my friend feel better. And, and you'll, you'll get defensive that way on mushrooms. You know, you, if it's someone, if it's someone you really like, or it's your best friend or something, you're going to, you're going to want to fix that problem especially like i mean especially if it's like a girl it don't really matter you're always gonna feel that way you're gonna feel that way and it's cool though because it's just very interesting i mean 
But he, so he started puking. He's puking, and we're, like, going down. He's puking hardcore, like, whoa, like, you know, shit's happening. And he's saying weird shit. Um, at one point, he was, like, on the ground, fucking rubbing his face on the ground, like, Ugh! he's just, like, saying weird shit. And he was like, <laughs> like, oh, man, it was fucked up, like, fucked up. Like, honestly, like, now that I think, now when I go back to that moment, I laugh my ass off because that was funny shit it was just weird but we ended up getting down the whole mountain he lost his pants mind you he he chucked his shoe right in front of me and i couldn't find it it was crazy i mean like he chucked it like he I, honestly he probably chucked it like a mile and a half it was ridiculous i was like i was like like so random dude he just picked it up and was like Oh, and he chucked it so hard like he looked pissed about it too i don't know why but so, um, uh, we actually ran into a lady, and she, she freaking, she was helping us out trying to get him to drink some water or eat something and shit, and he just, he was just, I don't know, he was just so out of it. He, he ended up, like, walking around somewhere. We couldn't find him. So this, this is where, this is probably where you'd actually have a bad trip. I mean, it's only, it's only because of the fact that we planned it bad, and that, that's always where it will come down to. Like, if you plan it wrong, or you feel like you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, it's, it's just going to wear on you unless someone else tells you it's okay. So what you're going to want to do is try and find your positive self, and try and find your inner peace in yourself first before you can figure out how to even perceive or change anything, you know? It's, it's just how it's gonna be you know you just have to figure it out it's how mushrooms are it really just takes reality and just pushes it around everywhere and you just gotta figure it out and I mean I, I I've i always loved mushrooms and I've always had positive experiences but that one first pro first experience was horrible I ended up bringing him home and um he, uh, he, like, flopped around, my mom yelled at me, like, right in my face and shit, like, oh, man, wicked pissed, and I was like, wow, I, I didn't even know what to say, so I said nothing, I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna let this pass, and then Eric, Eric was in the house, my mom left, and I was like, all right, cool, so I just kept Eric in the house, and he ended up freaking like, going into the bathroom and fucking getting naked and shit, and I was like, whoa, I was like, dude, I was like, you're nude, and he's like, he lifted up the toilet seat, and he started trying to sit on it, and I was like, no, 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 and I, like, pick him up, I was like, no, dude, and then I put him down, and I was like, I started, like, rubbing his back, and I was like, no, dude, I was like, it's good, man, it's good, and, like, you know, we're, like, I calmed my voice down, I tried changing the tone to see if I could change the way his mood was. I was like, dude, I was like, everything will be alright, like, my mom's not pissed at you, my mom's not pissed at us, like, shit just happened wrong, and we just didn't plan it good, and he's just like, I don't know, he would just say weird shit still, and he didn't, like, I don't know, he just never, I can't even remember it, like, that's how weird it was, but, um, like, that, those were good mushrooms, you know, like, there's going to be a few times where you encounter some really good mushrooms, and I mean, that was only an eighth of mushrooms, like a lot of, like, it's weird. You can, you can consume like a gram and still trip balls. It really, it really is random as fuck. I mean, I once, I once took like a cap and like some dust, literally dust, and I just, oh no, 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 and literally, like, it was, it was probably like 15 minutes later, and I was tripping hard, and I was like, wow, like, that wasn't even that much, but it's just, it's just random, it's always gonna be like that, and as long as, I, I personally think as long as you can differentiate between reality and fiction, you know, or whatever, what it, the real things that happen, and then the fake things that enter your mind, then you can always be in a calm mindset. If if it's a if it's a negative thought that brings you in and you want to go towards it, you'll go towards it. But if you don't want to go towards it, then you can always find something to substitute. Substitute, man. Just <laughs> you know what I mean. But so I mean, it's it's definitely something to try. I mean, I've I've had I've had a lot of good experiences. I. I just always have, and I think I think if 
if it was legalized, then dude, everyone, everyone would be happy and everyone would love each other and just be human beings, you know, really feel for the world and like realize like how much everything means to everyone and how it should mean. And, you know, like everyone should have an open mind to be like, happy or sad or depressed or angry you know like all those emotions you have a choice to feel that way so you can feel happy if you want if you smile you'll feel happy like that's scientifically proven but still you know what i mean like you can feel that way if you feel angry and you just you're too angry to feel any other emotion then you're going to be angry if you're sad then you're going to be sad but you can always cheer yourself up because it's your choice to do that and like from a psychological point of view that's that's just as big as it'll always be and as long as you can have that with your life and with anything then you can be happy whether you're on mushrooms, whether you're on LSD, whether you're on cocaine, it don't matter. Any type of drug and any type of thought process, as long as you as long as you know what's reality and what's not, and you know that you can feel positive at any time, you have that choice, then there you go. Well, I, I I'm glad to have explained all this stuff and my first time tripping on mushrooms and I hope I hope everyone else enjoys it and subscribe and like.